Okay, we've been waiting a week for these guys and girls. Uh oh. What? You can come in if you hold, if you hold them. We just and don't let the cat in. Careful. That's cat cat food. Can't get through this label. I'm scared. Talking about forever. No, I'm talking about um, Bruce. Oh. All right, so we just got this package from Bruce McEver. Reptiles, I hope I'm saying your name right. So this is the piebald. That's this guy right here. Or it could be the other one. He's put them together, so we're not sure which is which. Well, they're not together, it's two separate piles. Oh. Do you want to take this one out right now? Yeah. Let's do it. Unbox it. <laughs> okay, so we've got the foam. We've got some paper. I don't see a heat pad or anything. Maybe it's on the bottom. Probably. Here's the bag of snake. This is going to be a big boy here. Be gentle. He's coming. All right. Hopefully he's a nice snake. Keep your face away from him. Okay. So should I? Open it up, just look at him. Look in there, see what he's doing. He's probably just balled up. Uh, looking around. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's beautiful. So this is this is the uh, scale of his head. Should I push yep. him up through the bottom? Yeah, just kind of pull it back and then grab his body and pull just his body up. And his head will go down. Oh, yes. Beautiful snake. Wow. Right? Which one's this? Kevin? This is Kevin. Wow, he's beautiful. Yep, let's check him for mites and for any issues. Look at his body, make sure everything looks good. And then we'll put him into quarantine. He's not, it doesn't look like he's going into shed or anything. Yep. He's a scaleless head. It's a beautiful snake, huh? Yeah. So cute. Wow. Do you have his box? Okay, so let's go, go ahead and stick him in his home here. Kevin. His nose is cool. Kevin goes in here. There you go, Kevin. Uh, I got the biggest tubs I could get for now. There you go. Does he have a hide? No hide. I'm going to make the room dark. Totally dark. Okay. So get that lid on before he starts coming up out of there. Oh, it's too late. No, no, no. Let them go down between. Okay, ready? Get the back part of the lid on first. Go. All right. <laughs> then clamp it all down, and then he'll. We'll leave him in there for a few days before we'll hold him or do anything. Let him get acclimated to his, his new home, and then we'll try to feed him on Friday there on our feed day. There's Kevin. So there's Kevin. We decided to name them all names from the office. Yeah. One of our favorite TV shows. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, he's a big boy, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Check it out, Kevin. Probably got more space than your last home. It's hot in here, huh? Yeah. It's snake temperature. It's a snake room. I'd say it's probably like 78 degrees in here. That's awesome. <laughs> So we can see the back clamp, did you? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we got the next one. First box open and off. Yeah. That's yeah. how the first box was. Was there a heat pad in there at all? I don't. No. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. 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 All right. Just a box. The first, the first time boxing we did, she had a heat pad and an ice pack. Wow. Back in April. For Brittany. Mm-hmm. So this should be our nice piebald Mojave ghost male, also from the same breeder. Here's a shout out. Okay. Ready? Okay. All right, here we go. So was it that bag that smelled, or do you think it's this bag that smells? 
Oh, uh, so this one might have gone to the bathroom in his bag, huh? She did. If she did, if it's poop, then we're going to need to wash her. I'm pretty sure it's pee. It smells like pee. Okay. Yeah. So this is another boy. We'll give him a bath, yeah? Mm-hmm. If it's not oh, poop. Yeah. Oof. It smells so bad. Oh, yeah. That's Maybe a, a little poop. That's a whole mess in there. <laughs> okay. All right, so Should we this take... one's going to go straight to the bath. As soon as I take him out, we'll wash my hands before I touch the last one. Yeah, before we touch the other snake. Oh, gosh, it smells so Let bad. me pause this and we'll get the bath ready. So this one came a little stinky. I think he had a little accident in his uh, box. So we're going to just take him out of the bag and put him straight into a nice uh, warm bath. The bath's about 90, 93 degrees, nothing major. But uh, we want to make sure there's no poop or something in his scales. Okay. Just set him in there. Yep. And hurry, put the lid before it falls some, out. There's some betadine in there. So yeah, put a little bit of betadine in there, just antibacterial. There go. And we'll just let him soak for a few minutes, and then we'll dry him off, clean him up, and stick him in his little enclosure. Yeah. Let's see what he's doing in here. Look in the back, see if you see poop. All right, so we did a, a little bit of a batonite bath solution, just a little bit, because he sat in his poop. I don't know how long he was in his poop for, so the bag had poop in it, and it was really stinky. So we put Jim, uh, Jim Halpert, we stuck him in here, the big tuna. We took a big dookie in his bag. So we'll let him soak for a few minutes. We'll unbox the other snake, and then we will um, come back, clean him off, and put him in his new hole. Soak just a little bit. Okay, here we go. This is our most expensive snake from Freedom Breeder. And it looks like she's a female, scaleless head, Mojave. So let's take her out, see what she's got going on. Here's her information list. See if she peed herself or pooped herself. Oh, this is a sticker. Oh, nice. Yeah. She's on rats, small rats, and live. Hot spot, she likes 88 to 92. Ooh, so fancy. This packaging is so nice. Look. Around 70% humidity and tubs misted. I like that they do this. Look, there's a watermark on their bag. It's so nice. Oh, look at that. Coco Blocks is on their bag. You that's think nice. that's a blue-eyed Lucy? I think it is. She's a big... Check her out. No heating pad. No heating pad again. All right. So these guys, uh, maybe because it's summer and it's already hot. Yeah, probably. Yeah, uh, that's probably why and they did it. We got the last it. one. It was in April, so. And it was a little cooler. It was raining actually. Yeah, so I think that's probably why. Is that in the knife? Yeah, it's up there. You want scissors? Here. Here. I got it. It's good. Is it sharp enough? Yeah, I wasn't cutting. I was just using. Ah. Is she stinky? No. Is she mad? No, she's Let's look balled in there. up. She's big. Aww. Oh, look at that. She's all balled up. Moving up. Okay. Yeah. Watch your face. <laughs> That's. I said that because her friend Sienna got bit in her face by her ball python last week. It's actually her boyfriend's, but yep. they kind of own it together. Oh, boy. Oh. Look at her. She's beautiful. She's a pretty oh, girl, goodness. huh? You say nice she was? scaleless head. Let's zoom in on her head. Oh, yeah. She is a pretty girl. She's checking me out. Like, what are you doing? Hi. What's going on here? What place is this? Look for mites. She's big. See any, see any issues with her? She's very cold. She's very cold, huh? Well, yes. let's get her warmed up. It looks let's, clean. I didn't smell any poop or pee. Let's kind of stretch her out a little so we can check her out. She's grabbing on to me. And then we'll put her away. We won't mess with her till Friday, which will be feed day, which I'm going to have to try to transfer her over. Get her face away from you. Away Belly from looks you good. Or away from you. me. Away from you. See any mites or anything? No. no looking good? Looks perfect. Oh, she's long, huh? Yeah. She's all right. looking at me. So we'll oh weigh her. <laughs> we'll, weigh, we'll weigh all of them on Friday. Okay. 
Uh, she's supposed to be 1,100 grams. So we'll see. So she goes up here. This is this is gonna be Pam Beasley. Oh, take the weight out. Yeah. Ready? Mm-hmm. She's jumpy. Well, they're all gonna be a little jumpy today. Yeah. Just because they traveled. Sweet. All right, check it out. Get warm, girl. Let's go back and see if we can uh, check out this other snake we put in the tub. All right, let's get him out of here. Hi. Here's his, oh look, looks like he had a little bit more or something. This is our pie ball. This is Jim. Oh, pretty boy, huh? Oh, wow. A little hobby. Make sure there's nothing a little bent or anything. He got his first bath already. It's the cleanest one of them all. Or? Oh. Probably thanking us for taking it out of his own poop. Hi. Wow, he's pretty. Looks very relaxed, huh? Yeah, he's chilling. He got a luxurious bath. I'm, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not surprised. Hi. I like him. Yeah, he's a beautiful snake. Very curious. That's good. I don't see any like major issues with him. Wow. Pretty boy, huh? Yeah. He's sitting there now. <laughs> Alright, well let's go put him away and then we'll just yeah. not mess with them for a few days. Let them just accumulate and then we'll try to feed them on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's totally. Alright, we got Jim in here now. He's all comfy cozy, checking stuff out, tripping out on his new home. We got Kevin over here, checking out his new spot. <sighs> Brittany's back there going, hey, I heard some other snakes moved in, but I, I haven't met anybody yet. <laughs> Pam. We got Pam Beasley over here. She's going to make me some scale of snakes. She's really staring at you. She's <laughs> checking me out. And then this spot's gonna be for our new Mojave we're picking up on Wednesday. She's the biggest wow. one, 2,100 grams. Really? Yep. Wow. So we'll check back in and we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> that was